Hello guys, welcome back. Um, I want to start this off by apologizing for any weird noises you may hear. Somebody is cutting down trees, and a table is singing, and Eliza is behind me eating some chips. So, life's pretty weird. This past week has been, th these past three weeks have been absolutely insane. If you guys are my friends on Facebook, or if you are on my Twitter, or even just in the vlogs, I'm not sure how much I've mentioned it. I've been having some pretty weird symptoms. It started out with a migraine that wouldn't go away even with my prescribed migraine medication, and jaw pain, like I couldn't, this side of my jaw hurt, and then this side started hurting, and then it was kind of hard to open. So I first like went to urgent care, like I've had a migraine for eight days now, I can't get rid of it, and they prescribed me some medication, and I saw my dentist about my jaw. I started feeling better, and then the next day I woke up with like, like a sore in the back of my throat, and I had swollen toes, two toes, were swollen, still are swollen. And I was like, hmm, that's weird because I had no trauma, I couldn't find a bug bite, I could find nothing to explain like the swollen toe phenomenon, so that was pretty bizarre to me, but I was like, whatever, it'll probably get better. After like six days, it didn't get better, and I showed my chiropractor my toes, and he said, you should probably go to the doctor because it could be cellulitis, which is an infection of the toes. You could have had a bug bite that you didn't see, and you're going to need antibiotics to get rid of it. Prior to dropping Eliza off at daycare that day, we had gone to her 14-month appointment, and I was nursing her, talking to her doctor, and all of a sudden, I got this rash on my face, and I thought because sometimes she slaps me when she's nursing that she like slapped a little too hard. And her doctor said, it looks like you have a hive on your throat. I'm going to insert a picture of what my throat looked like. And I looked in the mirror. I was like, oh, yeah, it does. That's weird. Whatever. So we finished up the appointment. I put her in the car. And I went and looked in, like, my mirror at my throat again. And I felt it. And it wasn't raised. And it wasn't itchy. And I was like, okay, that's weird. It's definitely not a hive. Because if it was a hive, you know, it would be raised and itchy. So it's probably just a strep rash. Because I thought I had strep throat from my painful throat so I dropped her off at daycare and I headed to urgent care I get to urgent care and I go in and they're like okay what's wrong like check me in I'm like oh I, I think I have strep throat my throat hurts and I have like two really swollen toes and it was the nurse who was checking me in and she's like well what's your chief complaint because he's only gonna look at one thing now, I was confused why he wouldn't look at, like, the whole picture, seeing as I said my toes were swollen with no trauma or no, no visible bug bite, and they were just swollen. But that's what the nurse said, and I was like, okay, whatever. So she took my vitals, and my heart rate was 109 resting, and, ooh, my hair's a mess. So my heart rate's 109 resting, and I had a fever. She didn't tell me what like degree the fever was but that's when I knew something was wrong because I never get fevers like I know people are like oh 99 that's high for me like no my temperature has never reached above 99 so that's when I knew something was wrong when she said I have a fever and she didn't say that I have a low grade fever and usually they say that to reassure you so I'm assuming it wasn't a low grade fever so the doctor comes in and he's like okay what like what's going on and I started explaining to him like I have this sore in my throat it really hurts to swallow I have this rash on my face and the nurse told me not to mention this because you guys could only take care of like my chief complaint but my toes are swollen so he's like all right let me look at the rash first so he looks at my face and then he's like let me look at your toes and he looks at my toes and then he's like, all right, let me just look in your throat for a second. So he looks at my throat and he's like, in your throat is just a canker sore. And I'm like, okay. And he said, but with the fever, the swollen toe, and that circular rash on your neck, I really think you have Lyme disease. And I'm like, probably no, but like maybe. And he's like, you know, have you had like a migraine recently? Any jaw pain? I'm like... Yeah, I had like a two week migraine and jaw pain and finally it went away after the after 
I had gone to urgent care and they had given me codeine. And he's like, yep. And then he's like, does anything hurt? Like, does your body hurt? I'm like, well, my hips hurt, but I got adjusted by my chiropractor yesterday, so I think it might be that. He's like, nope, that's Lyme. So, turns out, surprise, I have Lyme disease. Um, so, that's where we've been, and that's why I've been feeling so, like, not good recently. I don't know if you guys, like, noticed in my vlogs or anything that I didn't have as much energy as I usually have. And that's just because I've been feeling crappy. And I didn't want to say too much because I didn't want anybody to worry. And I also didn't want to seem like I was just being over dramatic about tiny symptoms. But I am on antibiotics for it now. I think I have to take them for 21 days. And I've heard like conflicting information about um about like if Lyme goes away or not. So I'm not really sure but all I know now where I'm at is that my elbows and my knees are hurting a lot. I have to stay on top of taking ibuprofen every six hours or I spike a fever or I am in pain that I can't like function with. Um, I'm having a really hard time with Eliza right now just because of the joint pain. Like lifting her and stuff is very, very hard for me. So thankfully my mom has been like helping. She's been very, very helpful, especially since I found out I have Lyme. Like, I was supposed to work on Saturday, and then I called out because I was sick. So I told my mom, like, you don't have to watch Eliza tomorrow. I'm going to be home. And then she ended up watching her anyway, just because she knew I didn't feel good. So that was awesome. But um, finally, there's, like, a name to my symptoms. And finally, like... I don't know. I don't feel like I'm being over dramatic. It's like a real thing. I did get a blood test and I'm waiting for the results, but it was explained to me that even if the test is negative, it doesn't mean it's not positive. It doesn't mean you don't have Lyme because it takes two months for the antibodies to show up in your bloodstream. They can only test for Lyme looking for the antibodies. They can't find it themselves. Um, I never saw a tick on my body but most people don't. I had the rash on my neck and then it spread down my legs. I'll post some pictures. Um, so I've been miserable, just bear with me. I'm gonna try to vlog for the rest of today. Um, I might try to get us out of the house. We haven't been out of the house, I don't know, and how long. So please, please, please just bear with me and if I'm not getting up that many videos, just know that it's because really I don't feel good. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm on this antibiotic which just makes me nauseous all the time. But I'm doing my best and we love you guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you're new here, please hit the subscribe button. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. And as always, we'll see you on our next video. Dream Big Al, it's a kind and beautiful world. I'm beginning to understand, the little prince said. There's a flower. I... I think she's tamed me. <laughs>